Back to being the youngest Frankie G you could remember being in St. Louis. And tell us a little bit about what it sounded like to be you growing up. Not just like the, the music, but like the vibes, the technologies. Like bring us back to being young and walk us through a bit of that experience. Well, first of all, I was born in 95. Mm. So, you know, that's that's definitely hip hop, hip hop era. Um, you know, I've, I've my dad really got me on to to hip hop because he would be listening to, you know, Jay Z, Biggie, Nas, you know, and that just sparked my my whole passion for music. Um, and then Eight Mile came out. And I'm not the hugest fan of Eminem, but I said, oh, my God, he can do it. So I'm I'm in elementary school, first and second grade, writing in my little Spider-Man notebook, trying to tell, you know, telling all these kids, you know, battle rap me at recess type shit. Say it Ain't nobody want to smoke. Ain't nobody want to smoke. So, you know, but I mean, I really started taking music seriously when I was a sophomore in high school. That's when I said, you know, I was playing soccer and I was like, I ain't going to be Cristiano Ronaldo. You know, I'm not going to I'm not going to go pro. So what else? And I said, music. I always love music. I always had a, a passion for it. Always had the ear for it. What kind of. And, uh, so if you like run it back to being like young. Right. So before like so eight mile comes out, you're still like young, young. But before that. Did you have, like, an interest in music outside of your dad? Like, was your mom's bumping stuff? Like, was there, like... Oh, yeah, yeah. What are the kinds See, of my vibes? mom, she, she would listen. I mean, I, I grew up listening to all type of music. You know, my mom, she lived in Spain. She was a flamenco dancer before I was born. So I, we were listening to, you know, some Spanish music, too, you know? And my pops, you know, he's always he was all big, still big on the 80s stuff, like Duran Duran, The Cure, you know, like Tears for Fears and all that, you know, Miami Vice type shit. So I grew up with a lot of diversity with uh, with music. You know, I'm I'm not just one track mind, like, you know, just rap, just hip hop. I like, you know, I listen to opera. You know, I listen to anything. Mm. Motown, techno, like your pop, like you were talking about with your pops. I listen to like all that electronica, you know, the, the uns, uns, uns type shit. You know, and motherfuckers be like, well, you know, you from Jersey Shore? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fist pumping and shit. No, but like, I mean, I, I fucks with that. Um, when you were young. My daughter, actually, it's, it's ironic you said you were five years old. Man, I'll be driving in the car with my daughter. She's five. She just turned five. And literally, word for word, she knows all, Drake is her favorite. So Drake is her. She just word for word knows every song of Drake's, and and then I'll I'll try and uh, play a song that she hasn't heard before, and I'm like, hey, who's that? And you say Drake, because she knows his voice. You know, five years old already knowing that. It's just, it just blows my mind. Yeah, that's you know, cool. that's crazy. That you're... But she listens. She li I don't have her listening to like you know, this this new crap. You know, I I listen to like. Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin in the car with her. But if I'm listening to hip hop, I mean, we playing Nas, you know, we playing Mob D and all that. So I, I want her to be gr grown up cultured. I don't want her to listen to like, you know, I got the stick. Oh, I fuck your bitch. Oh, you know, what, what kind of culture are you going to get from that? Everybody's saying the same thing just differently. They all look the same. They all dress the same. They all talk the same. They just, you know, put a different name on it. And, there is you an know. argument to be made, and I just like to make this for the sake of it, that if you dig past that top level top level of greatness in like the nineties, a lot of the guys in the posses were kinda like what we're describing here. Like the the other yeah. guys. Like the you know, like to the point like the Wu if you buy like the Riz's manual, like the Wu manual, oh, they yeah, got like saying. a uniform. Like you have to look oh, the yeah. same and shit. So I don't always hate well, that. Well, that's that's a that's a whole group though. But if you think about like Ghostface and Raekwon and Method Man, they all had their own character. Mm. They all played their own role. So what I was thinking though is when you get to like the rest of the Wu's, because there's like hundreds of them, it gets a well, little bit. Well, first of all, first of all, Shaheen Rugged Child, you know Ghostface cousin, kill, uh, Ghostface Killer cousin. I'm actually um, gonna go up to New York City. And get in the studio with him. Say so word. that man, I was. That's the one that I just had the word. whole situation play out with, with Nori. With, yeah, with Nori. Say yes. word. Yes. So I'm excited about that. I'm just grinding right now. You know, doing what I got to do, stacking up, and then I'm gonna make that move. 
but I'm doing some stuff. I'm still, you know, doing stuff in St. Louis like, in the mean in meanwhile. I don't have no disrespect to the Wu because they're like the worst example of this from a talent perspective, but they're a good example yeah. from a visual perspective of how deep these camps can go, right? Like, right. There's a, the, some of them went real deep, and some of the posse cuts revealed to me that maybe not everybody in that era was as distinct. You know, a lot of people wanted mm-hmm. to be, but it could be manifested. However, when you get to the content point of view, yeah, I feel like back in the day it was a lot more superhero. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, ty- styled like grandiosity in the bars, and it was more like that kind of focus, which I can see as a parent. It was more. It was a. It was a lot more wordplay. It was more clever. It right. was more lyrical. Nowadays, it's so dumbed down, watered down, saturated. It's like you know, you listen to one rapper, you listen to the other one. They saying the same exact shit. Mm. And people buy into it, you know? So it's like even, it, honestly, the whole thing for me is this. Nowadays, you don't have to have talent. You just got to have money. You just got to have money. That's it. Because if if you look at even these guys' networks, they're making money. But they are pure garbage. They're garbage. And they're ma- they're selling. They're, they're selling shows. They're doing this. And people buy it. So it really doesn't take talent. Mm. It does take a business sense of talent. I mean, but like, if you like, think about it, you it. got J. Cole and Kendrick. Like, I feel like... You got the actual, you know, like... So, like, I hear what you're saying. I definitely think these dudes, a lot of them have talent outside the realms of traditional hip-hop talent. A lot of these guys can do melody yeah. pocket shit that, like, I'm jealous of some of these guys' ability. Well, auto-tune but... helps a lot, dude. I'm talking about just... Auto-tune just helps. Like, I could... I could, be, I could... Beyond the auto-tune. Because, like... I mean, auto-tune can't fix everything, right? Like, you actually have to have a degree yeah. of but baseline you know what else? Okay, decent, so you, you say know? auto-tune. You say auto-tune, though. I get it. Auto-tune don't fix everything. But what does, to answer that, a beat. People be listening to the beat nowadays. You could literally say Mary had a little lamb. And the beat is fucking You do have to deliver crazy. it real good, though. They're going to they're gonna bop. You got to deliver that, Mary. Had a li- it's, it, there's a lot more to the delivery. That's the only thing I'm going to counter back Oh, on. yeah. Because some of these dudes are able to be like, Mary had a little lamb. And I'm like, bro, I don't know why I like the way you say this so exactly. much. But the way they say it is talent to me. Exactly.